Welcome back to the TK Breezy videos. We got more stuff to talk about. Uh, the chat says, hey, as you can see, they're all over here saying, what's up, YouTube? Hey, YouTube, you should come over here and join that part of the chat. You should be like, hey, wow, maybe I should watch this guy's streams live. Well, you can do that at twitch.tv slash TK Breezy. I'm live pretty much every day that I'm home uh, for at least four hours. So, yeah, come through, hang out. And, uh, yeah, let's talk about some news. All right, so up first, boom. So, Stripe uh, made changes to their TOS, and now video game tournaments are on their restricted business list. As a result, StarGG is removing Stripe according or, or Stripe support on October 9th, meaning no more paying for events with credit or debit cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you're not trying to, if you're trying to get into some tournaments, uh, looks like you will not be able to use uh, credit and debit cards uh, in the near future, which kind of makes me think, oh, how do we do it now? Is that like, is are we back to a PayPal future, a PayPal mindset? Um, but yeah, that's happening. I'm not sure why that's a, that's a thing, why that happened. Um, and you know what is going on at stripe where the people are like yeah man fuck fuck gaming tournaments but well <laughs> fuck gaming tournaments that's what they said so yeah there will be uh i guess we'll be figuring out how to get into tournaments um in the future if we're going back to a paypal mindset are we using vimbo now we gotta sell some shit i don't know uh but we'll have to see in the in the in the near future so uh let me see up next uh, currently, North America Smash is apparently complaining a little too much, and that is absolutely fact. So, uh, we're getting stuff from Lancelot SSB. It says, uh, to me, it's insane when I hear NA players complain that another region has an advantage in the rankings. NA has been the center of Smash for 20 years, and finally, other regions have gotten better, and NA isn't the only region where you have to prove yourself. Especially coming from a region like EU, where your results don't matter to the majority of the scene unless you place top three consistently or beat Bloom. Uh, Siski or Gluto. I think it's great that you have to travel out uh, of NA if you do want to place higher in the rankings. And you can still be in, uh, rank one while staying at NA two. Like Spargo would have definitely been rank one last season if he didn't flop at Summit. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. So then you have Ramen saying, pre old, I always had to travel to NA to even uh, uh, have a shot uh, at being ranked high at all. Same applies to Gluto, Armada, Leffen, etc. I find it extremely ironic and self absorbed to see NA complain about this now that the roles are reversed japan is the strongest region deal with it so but yeah man that's a really good way to look at it because i do think that like uh, americans are doing the american thing or north americans are doing the american thing and being like wow we're not in the middle it's not about us uh that's crazy it should be about us that's unfair that like these guys can play well in their own region and now it's counting toward our regions even though these same guys definitely travel over here and beat our ass all the time too so it just just sounds like it's time for some more north american world warriors that's what uh that's 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 probably the bottom line for this one. We need more North American World Warriors. If you want to make some plays, then uh, then do that. But I feel like if you have reasons as to why you can't travel, then I just wouldn't take the rankings as serious, bro. I'm sorry. Like that's just like if you can't travel because you can't sit on planes that long, or you know you got health reasons or whatever, then hey man, that it, it be what it be. It is what it is, bro. That doesn't mean that that doesn't make you a worse character just because the rankings said uh, that you're number four instead of number one when you probably consistently beat number one whenever number one shows up uh america or to whatever region you're at but it's just unfortunately life be life it be what it be sometimes uh stuff works to get you and you just kind of like roll with it you know what i mean being number one is great uh and i think a lot of people will probably still see you as number one even if you couldn't travel if you were beating people that often so uh that's just that's just my opinion and then our next piece of news what the vegas smash has unbanned somebody so uh, as of September 1st, it has been a full year since Yume Atlas was banned for racially insensitive actions. Yume has asked for an appeal to his ban and has shown the conduct panel that they have reflected on this incident and grown as a person this past year. The conduct panel has decided to give Yume a probational period of one PR season starting October 4th. During the, this time, Yume will be closely watched for his behavior and any repeating offenses, new offenses, will result in immediate reban with major consequences. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding Yume, please reach out. Uh, any uh, to any of us on the conduct panel so uh this is who's all on there so you got uh a really good point right here of people who are arguing uh arguing this really want no path of redemption they don't want people to improve as a person people are more likely to improve by rehabilitation and more uh likely to radicalize by isolation so let me go ahead and look at the quotes because that's really where you get the stuff boom missing you may at a, uh, me seeing you may at a local the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> <laughs> all right very curious curious if this is a unanimous vote what the hell boo all right now i will say um i do think that there is that thing 
uh, with Smash and like after 2020 that everybody is kind of super vindictive and don't and there really is no path to redemption here uh, for a lot of people. And I like and I like the fact that they give this man a, a year ban. He seemed to have reflect uh, reflect on whatever he's done. Uh, and then they were like, all right, we'll see if you got better. And if you don't, we'll probably just ban you again. I think that's probably the missing part of how uh, Smash has gotten better. Like, I think Smash has gotten really good at, like, outing people and telling people, like, oh, bro, like, you know, that's not cool, blah, 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 that other good stuff. But I feel like they also do not, there is no path of redemption with Smash. So, like, you can mess up once 19 years ago and someone can find out and then you're banned forever now. Even if you've never done that again and you've already learned from your mistakes and all that other good stuff, because that's just how Smash kind of operates at times. And that kind of sucks. You know, if people aren't going to fuck with him. They aren't going to fuck with him. It is what it is. You know what I mean? Uh, but if he is now not doing the things that got him banned and he understands why that was bad, then I think, I think we should, I think we're, I think, I think we're probably good. So, you know, he, if he says anything racist, he blows up on the spot. Yeah, bro. As soon as he starts saying the N word, it's just boosh. <laughs> I'm tired of losing to these. And then there it is. Boom. Gone. Just. Hit the button on them. There's obviously some stuff that is just irredeemable, obviously. Uh, like, I think a lot of the stuff that happened with, with Elegant, that, like, I don't, I don't, I couldn't see no path to redemption for that man at all uh, on the way back in. And, you know, some of the other more serious and heinous crimes that we've heard all through 2020. But for some of the other things that I've read where it's kind of like, you know, someone may have been a shitty boyfriend, like, I can't really be like, yeah, that guy is a threat to the entire of the Smash community. I just think that guy's kind of a shitty boyfriend. Um, and, if if we were gonna go so far as to be like yeah get him out of here does that do i think that warrants that man getting banned uh for the rest of his life i don't i don't, I don't know I, I can't really or racist which i think you know sometimes they can be rehabilitated too but that's my whole that's my whole uh plan if i if i ever found out ladies if i ever find out your, your dad's racist and you're like in love with me we are going to have a kid okay We, I've, I've ruined your family tree, sir. What are you going to do about it? Uh, anyway, the last story we have, speaking of banned players. Damn, look who's back. You remember that face, right? Well, he's got a new tag and he's playing a new game. But uh, seems like those people have now caught on to the fact that that is, that is Captain Zack. So they say, it's trigger word sexual assault. I just wanted to bring some attention to it since I felt like people should know who they're around. Uh, uh, Yashuhiro is a sexual predator who R-worded someone in their sleep. Yashiro went by Captain Zack in the Smash community. One of... Yashiro literally posts pictures, so it's easy uh, to tell it's him. It's not just some bait account because he's mutuals with Tamim, uh, who went by mistake in the Smash community and they were close friends. So, uh, yeah, man. Uh, he's not trying to come back to Smash, although I did hear that he was at that uh, Cirque thing and he entered under a different tag and, like, wore a mask and shit like that. So... May maybe trying to get back into Smash too. Um, can't really can't really tell you, but this uh, this stuff follows you everywhere, bro. Like you can't really escape. It, you you can't really escape. So, uh, but I'm, I'm kind of with uh, the mindset that hey man, we did our job, right? We did our job. Uh, as the Smash community, you know what is our job is to keep the Smash community safe. So if we if Zach can't sit with us anymore then like we don't have to go about chasing him in any and everywhere else if that's what you plan want to do cool bro like do your thing man but like i just know i'm not going to be out here um chasing this man down at like like this because he's not i'm not in the league community i probably will never see that man again and hopefully he's learned from his lessons or from from not, or learned his lesson from all the things that happened within this match community and why he is where he's at now and if he doesn't i mean he'll just repeat history and somebody else We'll snap him up again, and then he'll get uh, outed out that community too. So, but says won't lie uh, unless he's trying to be active somewhere else. Uh, but this is very, very old news. A lot of us know who he is. Honestly, no one will probably stop him anyway, including his friends. So it doesn't matter. That's true, Captain Zach. Yes. Okay. Uh, hi, if you're a uh, pervert and a freak in another video game community, League of Legends does not want you either. Disrespectfully, get out. Damn. Woo. Sheesh. Uh, bro, as a former Smash player, this shit crazy. If, uh, if it's not allowed to have a platform with 100,000 followers, I think Zach uh, also should be able to have a Twitter. Obviously, I'd rather have both the platform, but you got to be consistent. Okay. Uh, what is it? Every uh, Fuck, it's so crazy. Every time 
when some guy gets exposed, that seems normal when we uh, when we interacted. Well, okay, that's that's kind of a sure. As I said, bro, I'm pretty sure he's learned and probably isn't about that shit uh, uh, anymore. And yes, while he has done some crazy uh, or some bad shit in the in the past, I don't think that automatically means that he is just like the super weirdo everywhere he goes all the time. Sure, he can still hold regular conversations and be a regular human being. I just think that, like, if y'all, if the league community feels that he is a threat to that community in the same way that Smash community felt like he was a threat to the, our, our community, then, yes, ban that motherfucker. But uh, until then, yeah, I mean, I think the information out there, like, I, I see no reason why that's, like, not uh, an issue to have this information out there if, if you're feeling threatened by this person. Um, I just, as a Smasher, on my side of things, I just, like don't really care enough to like go out and headhunt and find my league friends and be like do y'all know who this is like is he even big in league bro you know like i, I see grandmaster but like you know is he is he signed is he on a team like <laughs> thank buddy is just really good at league so um but yeah i mean if there's more developments to that story we'll find out uh in the future because you know i always got the stories on deck but yeah, I mean, it seems like the league people are, are, are not a fan of uh, Zach either. So I don't know where I don't know where he's gonna go next if he decides to go anywhere. But sometimes you just, I mean, like that. As I said, that shit follows you forever, man. That's a pretty big uh, accusation to be not only you know part of a underage thing, even though you're the, under, the one that's underage, but also be considered uh, the person who did who you know. Who, so like it's 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 gonna follow him for a long time gonna follow him for a long time and you know I, I as i said if he's learned his lesson sick I'm, i hope that he like understands the wrong you know the error of his ways and is like now a better human being but if he didn't karma will always catch up with you basically is all i can really say about that like you you, you can't escape or if you're going to be a shitty human being it will always catch up to you at some point in time so uh with that being said that's gonna be it for this topic talk thank you guys for watching probably gonna get into some my hero now uh we do topic talks at least once a week and if i don't do that we'll probably drop some other videos that i can definitely do so um, if you have not already dropped a comment or a like or a follow below, leave a comment, like, uh, follow anything that you want uh, on your thoughts, especially if you have any thoughts on this video, leave a comment below. And if you haven't already dropped a follow here or maybe even a sub here at the TK Breezy channel, make sure you do that on stream live. Very much appreciate that. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.